Hello, this is a quick setup guide for ANSYS Remote Solve Manager, or RSM, version 18.1, for a mechanical solve to a single remote computer. Now the first step will be to install the RSM launcher service on the remote machine. So let's go to our remote computer. I have remote desktop in here. You'll want to launch command prompt as an administrator. How you would do that is you would uh, click the start menu, type in CMD or command prompt, and you'll want to right click run as administrator. Now you'll need to change the directory to the RSM install bin directory. And this is the command that we want to run. And we'll want to install the launcher. All right, the last step for the remote computer is to set up an RSM staging directory. Uh, it's recommended that you set up this directory in a high performance disk on the remote computer. I'm going to use my C drive. And you'll want to just create a new folder. I'm going to name it RSM Staging. Uh, this specific setup uses the same directory for staging and working. Uh, other options do exist in RSM, but in this setup guide, we're just going to use this one. And you'll want to ensure that the user account who does submit jobs uh, has full right access to this folder. All right, so we're done on the remote computer, so let's go back to our local client. And you'll want to launch RSM configuration 18.1. It'll look like this. And you can click Add Cluster. Now we we'll want to give this cluster a name. I'm going to name it Cluster1. The submit host is the machine name of the remote computer and you'll need to select the operating system. Hit apply. All right, we have a green check mark here. That means that we inputted all the information that was necessary to move on to the next step. So we can go to file management. The setup we're using is uh, an RSM internal file transfer mechanism, in which case we would uh, point to the folder that we created on the remote computer. If you are interested in the other options, you can click the Tell Me More button, which would go into further detail of the different options. Okay, let's hit Apply. All right, let's go to Queues and let's add an RSM queue. Now I'm going to give it the same name and the cluster queue is local. Hit apply. We'll want to test a queue, so let's submit for a test. All right, it brought up a credentials window. Now you'll want to enter a domain slash username and password of a valid account on the remote server as this will be who the job will log in as and run as. All right, so we're waiting for a green check mark or a red X under status. We'll also want to view the report uh, just to confirm that there are no errors. If, a, if it is a red X, it means that it fails um, and the report should tell you why it failed. So in our case, we have a green check mark. Let's double check that there are no errors. All right, so it looks good. All right, now I will show you how to configure the mechanical application on the local client to submit a job to the remote solver. So I have mechanical open here uh, with a test job ready to solve. 
and you'll want to go to Tools, Solve Process Settings. You want to add Q. I'm going to give it the same name. And you'll want to select uh, the RSM queue that we created, which we called Cluster 1. And for license, you'll need to select a license that uh, is valid and available uh, for the solve. From here, you can also change your advanced settings, uh, such as if you need to set a number of cores or other specific solver settings. Okay. So how to solve is you go to the solve button and the pull down menu, select the new RSM queue. You can also monitor the job uh, through Workbench. So in Workbench, uh, hit the job monitor button. And as you can see here, this is our job running right now. And you can see what uh, RSM queue it's running on. All right, so it's finished. Then how to get the results is you go back into mechanical, right click solution, get results. And there you go. This was this quick setup guide for Antis RSM version 18.1 for a mechanical solve to a single remote computer. Thank you.